Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2025 on VirtualBox. As you can see here we have the latest version of VirtualBox and we have been previously installing Ubuntu, Kali, Windows 11 and many other operating systems. And to install Windows Server go to your browser and search for Windows Server 2025 and you will see the very first link Windows Server 2025 Microsoft Evaluation Center. Click into it. Once you are on this page Windows Server 2025 scroll a little bit down and here you will see this get started for free and here will be download the ISO file click into this link and on this page all you will need to do is to fill out this form which is located on the right hand side of this page once you have filled out this register for your free trial today scroll down and click on download now and you will be redirected to this page and here you will see the very first tab United States English version this is what I I am going to download in my scenario here you will see the very first one ISO download click on 64 bit edition and click on it and it will get downloaded into your downloads directory so I will be back when this file will be downloaded and once we have downloaded ISO file let's open Oracle's VirtualBox manager and here click on this very first icon which says new in the name field give a name Windows Server 2025 or you can call it however you want here in folder leave it as it is and where it says ISO image on the right hand side click on this arrow down and click here on other and select that file which you have just downloaded and click on open and it will detect that it is Microsoft Windows and where is version you will see Windows 2022 64 bit leave it as it is and click here click on this skip unattended installation and click on next tab which is hardware and here where is hardware base memory you will see that it by default gives it 2 GB of RAM in my scenario I have 32 GB RAM on this computer depending on how much you have on your computer I will give it only one more GB and where it says processor currently you can see it is one processor by default here I will also give it a three virtual CPUs and here where you will see this field enable EFI click this and click on hard disk and in this field by default it will give 50 gigabyte which is enough for playing around with Windows Server 2025 and once you have done this all click on finish and this virtual machine will be created and now we need to install Windows Server on this virtual machine which we just created so click on this virtual machine which you have just created and here on the top click on start here click on enter key make sure that you click on enter key straight away so it doesn't go to boot and here we can start installation and here you can see first field select language you can select language and click on next keyboard or input method I will select UK you can select United Kingdom you can select whatever you want and click on next and here select I would like to install Windows Server and here select this checkbox I agree everything will be deleted including files apps and settings this is related only to this virtual machine which we are creating and click on next and here make sure to select the second version as you see Windows Server 2025 standard evaluation desktop experience select second option and click on next and click on accept here you make sure that you are installing on this disk which we created which is 50 GB and click on next and here on this page click on install. And now you can see that it has been installed and now it is restarting. And here we need to add a password. As first username you will not be able to change as first username for Windows Server, whether it's 22 or 25, it is always will be administrator. So here you give a password or specify a password for this account and click on finish. And here as you can see that at the very top press Ctrl Alt plus delete to unlock. And you can do it by clicking here on top of the screen to add input click on keyboard and here you will see insert control alt delete click on this tab and here you enter your password which you just created and hit enter it asks to send diagnostic data here I will select required only and click on accept 
Here I will select don't show this message again and I will close this down and here we have installed Windows Server. But now if you would like to make it full screen, all you need to do is click here on devices, click into insert guest editions. Once you have done this open file explorer by clicking here on this folder icon, scroll down until you will see this PC, click into this PC, here you will see the CD drive D virtual guest additions, double click on it, in this window scroll down until you will see here VBOX Windows Editions AMD64, double click on it, click on next, click on next, install, you will need to reboot Windows Server, so click on finish and it will reboot. And here again we will need to log in, like I mentioned if you want to log in you go into input keyboard and here you select insert control alt delete, here let's insert our password, hit enter. And now here at the top of the virtual box here you will see this view, click on view and click on full screen mode and click here on switch. And wait a bit and it will turn into the full screen mode. So yes guys, this is how you can install Windows Server 2025 on VirtualBox. If you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video and subscribe to the channel. In next videos we will start working with Windows Server and especially with Microsoft's Active Directory. If interested, subscribe and see you in the next one.